Hi everyone, it's Andrew Whitehouse here, and this week we're talking about physical activity, and in particular how physical activity relates to cognitive functioning. Now we've talked previously about the importance of phys physical activity for children on the spectrum, and how it can help regulate behaviour and emotions, and of course it's really important for physical health more generally. We've also talked about how children on the spectrum tend to engage in lower levels of physical activity. Now the study we've linked to this week sought to understand which children are, in particular are more susceptible to lower levels of physical activity. So the, the study that we've linked to uh, studied 68 children uh, aged between 6 and 16 years um, and they followed them over the course of one week. Now they wore a, an accelerometer on the hip which measured physical activity. They also performed a whole lot of cognitive tasks. Now the main finding was, was that children with cognitive inflexibility, now these are the children who find it very difficult to change their line of thought easily, these children engaged in the lowest levels of moderate to vigorous physical activity. Now why you might think this is actually quite a simple finding. I actually reckon it's really important. Now the reason I think it's important is because it can help us identify those children that are susceptible very early on and be alert to those children with cognitive uh, inflexibility to, to make sure that we engage these children in physical activity very early on in life.